dude, it's not even a pine or an apple. Fuck pineapple! <laughs>
Justin Bieber's gonna sue us. <laughs> it's gonna be great. No, maybe he'll just come on and be a guest. It's like, dude, did you listen to this shit? <laughs> <laughs> come on and defend yourself. Get a cease and desist <laughs> order from his agent. I'd be like, sick. I'm gonna frame this. It's gonna be like a just... random ass, like unknown, un- un- unknown call and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Justin Bieber talking shit. It's gonna be like that video of his like his bodyguard picking him up and putting him back. I want to recreate that, but I'm the antagonizer. That'd be sick. That would be sick. We so, should do that. We should. Okay. All right. Let's but yeah, back Bieber. to music. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you guys are going on tour soon. Very soon. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Actually, it's tomorrow. Literally. Tomorrow morning. Literally yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. All right. So what? what's the stops and starts? and? You know, so basically where we're starting at is in Baltimore, but it's really just Hartford County, which is basically the York of Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, and so we're stopping. Well, I that had to be emphasized. <laughs> just for like people's like mental image. Like, do you guys know York? Yeah. All right. Hartford County. Uh, yeah, cool. Same thing. So cool. Same, cool, cool. same right, concept. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> My first thought was I just probably won't like that place. Then. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just not going to walk alone at night down dark alleyways <laughs> late at night. Like, thank you for giving me an excuse. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically... We're starting at, at Menchie's, which is basically like a sweet frog, like frozen yogurt type, type of shop. Okay. We're going to be playing for like two hours, and we're just going to be doing that. And then the next spot that we're going to be playing is we're going to be coming to Mechanicsburg um, at Larson uh, Mead Works. And oh, that sounds cool. Mm-hmm. Somebody was telling me about that place the other day. Super awesome. Yeah? It's a really cool spot. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I've never been. I, I like Mead sometimes. It's going to be Saturday night at 8 p.m., I believe, mm-hmm. to start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever had Mead. It's, Sorry not to get off topic. It's, it's good, different. Dude. What is Mead exactly? It's made it's like with a, honey instead of like It's hops. like a medieval type drink, yes. correct? Yep. Yeah. It's yep. like the oldest type of like alcoholic beverage. Now, is it like... Liquor, malt liquor, no, beer. It's, it's closer to it's like alcohol. mixed between beer and liquor. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's like a, good, a it's strong dude. Medium. medium. That was yeah, just gonna like, say will knock you on your ass. Oh, oh for sure, one hundred percent. And the, all the the <laughs> sugar <laughs> content from it, you're going to feel like. So you're ass. gonna be like, oh, I can't do like that then. Sugar rush on top of like super buzz, and then like you crash super hard. Yeah. But like the stuff's super good though. So like. I can't even drink like rum and coke you don't anymore, no- so I don't but know. But the average person doesn't like drink it on a normal occasion, so like that's true. You just take a sip of it, and you're like, "Oh wow, that's different." It's not like something that you like buy at the grocery store and like I'm binging this tonight. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna drink. I gotta have me some six of these growlers and then beat my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh? What's the old pirate drink? Uh, oh, um, gore, gore, gorg or something? Uh, no, it's um. Any, any of you guys now? I thought it was rum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like made with rum. I, I, think, I think it's rum. My yeah. sister and her husband have like a pirate party every year and they make it. It's like the pirate version of mead. And everybody just like drinks it. Grog. 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 That's what it okay. is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever had. I don't think you want to. I don't think I'm missing out on anything. <laughs> you want to. Yeah. It's like the scabies comes complimentary with the grog. Just, yeah. Yeah. And the cabin fever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That too. Yep. Yep. Perfect. What, what so. a nice getaway. <laughs> that sounds like a great Saturday night. Honestly, <laughs> it's a good way to spend the evening. Fun wake fa- up in I'll, the yard. You know we're not even going to get into it. I was going to say something like, it's interesting and it's related, but like, fuck it, I already said scabies. <laughs> so, so do you know how Do you know how the, uh, the clap got called the clap? Like where it got that nickname from? No, I don't know. I so, it was just an abbreviation <laughs> for chlamydia. So, no, it's actually, that, the clap is actually gonorrhea. It's not chlamydia. Oh. It's so it's weird, but so I didn't but know that. the clap it got that name because sailors and pirates used to get that, obviously. And so what they would do is they would take two boards, and I'm not making this up. They would stick their penis between the two boards, and they would go. So it would shoot out all the pus. And you that's how right. they would try so to heal. We're it. gonna go back to the tour details. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk about that, that was some Why? serious you imagery. Not have to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey, never. Hey, yeah, a pirate's imagery. life for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody fact check that? And then, and but they they drink a lot of grog before. That. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> They're like, "You got this, bro. You got this." And he's like, "I don't want to do it." And oh like, take God. another sip. <laughs> Just drink. They're like holding him down the whole entire. Time. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting fun fact. I feel Thank like you you've gone through this. this. 
What? God, no. <laughs> what? I I'm like, you know what? I'm all about <laughs> those home ready. That really gives walk the plank a whole new fucking meaning. <laughs> oh my really God. Well, I mean, you just you take the two by fours, you do the thing, and then you just rub a little essential oils on there, and you're fine. It just heals everything. I also, they didn't, they didn't believe in vaccinations back then either. They guess, did. So. Just throw some tea tree oil. Yeah, exactly. You, just re- you recharge your fucking some rose quartz crystal by sticking it, <laughs> sticking it in your ass and just aiming your ass at the full moon and it just recharges and recenters your chakra. <laughs> Anyways, the last date. Uh, <laughs> yes, please bring us back to yes. so, reality. Yeah, the totally. last date is actually a really, really cool uh, spot for us, and I'll have Evie take that away. It's at the Federal Tap House. Yeah, oh. um, where originally Fed Live used to be, the yes. stage mm-hmm. upstairs. Um, so I know, uh, but from previous history, I know the person who runs it now. So, like, we go upstairs, and, like, this is just a big stage. I don't know who, if anyone's not been there. It can hold, like, maybe 500-plus people. Yeah, yeah I've been it's, there. It's pretty um, cool. Yeah. It's an awesome stage. It uh I think that was the last play that place that I actually played at the last time that I played in Harrisburg. Oh. Wow. When it was one of my release nightmare. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of like the big headlining show where, I mean, I think we only have like a hundred tickets left. Oh, um, wow. So How many did you, you start with? Uh, I printed 450. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicely done. Don't thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so like, awesome. it kind of was like my back in Harrisburg show and so like and the, the cool part is is that there's three other bands playing it's Snow Villains uh, Corey I'm gonna uh, yeah P- it's with a P Pater Master <laughs> what is it I'm, I don't even know how to say it. it's like Pater Master Pat- Pater Noster and Pater Noster but super rad dude <laughs> yeah, I just okay. we're just gonna foot stomp that he's but a really he cool guy he's a really cool guy we can bet and then John Garcia and the Hopeless Romantic so yep. like it's a big group like everybody's band like we all collaborate really well so like it just nice. worked out perfectly and yeah so 100 tickets left so if you don't if you want some tickets, just uh, we are selling tickets at the door. So if you were st- doors open at six thirty and music starts playing at seven thirty, okay. that is Sunday the twenty third this weekend. Yep. Um, but yeah, so and like, you're the you're the headliner, correct? Yes, I play last. Wow, man, fucking big shot over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> watch it. I'm the headliner. I'm just kidding. I don't know if we're big enough to have you on here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm only allowed to know that because you know me. <laughs> I've known you since you were like ten. <laughs> It's true. Oh, uh, yeah. So, brief history for anybody that doesn't know. These two grew up down the street from each other. Yeah. Alan he and, went to uh, high school with my sister. I did. No way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he spit in her soup. And then she did something. I don't remember the whole story. Sure, okay. <laughs> so I don't really remember. Remind me not to leave my soup unattended around I don't Alan. remember. I don't remember the whole story. But she did something originally. Like, she, like, pinched me or something. <laughs> and I was just like, all right. So, I was like. And I spit like right in her suit, and she just took her fucking, it was chocolate milk or iced tea, and she just looks me dead in the face, and she goes, (laughs) and just dumps it on my head, and I was like, that is so sad. Oh my god. (laughs) So we started chasing each other around the cafeteria. I was pissed, but it was like funny, and then we got like in trouble, and then like we had to stay back and clean up the cafeteria, and the whole time I was like. You asshole. And she was like, <laughs> you're a dick. And I was like, ah. and we we're just like both laughing. Ever Fuck since it. then, it's just friendship. <laughs> yeah, friendship. And then I would like go hang out at their house like with a bunch of friends. And I just remember like you would try to come out and be like, hey, Liz. And she'd be like, go inside, Evie. Yeah, she hated me. She hated me until I was like 16. And, and then she was like. And then I just, I got real quiet. And I just, I guess I like mellowed out. And I just kind of. Was just hanging out in the background, <laughs> and that's how musicians. Are. <laughs> yeah, she, that, she was I'm like abused. Like, she was like oh. <laughs> mentally. Abused. My sister doesn't <laughs> love me. I'm gonna learn how to play a song in the guitar. But about the it. rad part is, is that she actually is the one who is actually supported me through my music. I didn't want to perform live. I like would write in my room. She was the one who forced me. She booked my first show. She like made me record my first single. Like, she was the one who, like, pushed wow. me Dude, Liz it. is so, so like, fucking cool. She is the best. I, just, oh. I haven't talked to you in a long time, Liz. I wonder if so I'm, like, I'm secretly sorry. friends with her on Facebook, too, and just doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, she has an awesome salon in Hershey now, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. She's really good at cutting. I used to go to She's her for the longest time. She's just so busy that she, I haven't seen her. I think I saw her, I saw her on Monday, and that was the first time I saw her in, like, two months. She's, oh she's wow. super busy all the time. Sounds but she's going like to be there me. on Sunday, so if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You um, just watch out for the uh, the chocolate milk at that point, then. Just make sure she doesn't have a drink in her hand. <laughs> I swear, she has soup. I'm going for a distant shot. Kobe! Oh, no. damn. Too soon. Too no. soon. Too soon. Too soon. So, I said it in honor, going. in memory. I'm so sorry. Too soon. Keeps <laughs> the legend going. 
Exactly. So, <laughs> after you, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, you guys are cute. No, you good. All right. So I was going to ask, because um, you guys are both musicians, and I, I love getting this background from musicians. Uh, like, where do you guys draw your inspiration from? Because um, I know you two are, you guys, like, you're in the same, I guess, I don't want to say sub, same sub-genre, but, like, you guys are very compatible, like, on a lineup. Like, the same type of music be played. But right. at the same time, though, when you get in the technicalities, you guys are vastly different. different. Oh, absolutely. Two mm-hmm. vastly different genres. So, like, where do you guys draw your inspiration for your music? Like, how do you write your lyrics? What do you typically write about? Um, mine is all about life experience and I've been co-writing for the past four years. That's what I moved to Nashville for. Okay. So I really got a basic like knowledge of how, like I already knew how to write songs properly, but now then partnering up with other people and like helping them create melodies because melodies is something that I'm like super passionate about. Like, and that is the one thing I could story. never do. I could <laughs> ne- that one song that I had was the only one I did. So <laughs> I was it. like, that's, all, oh, I that's all I got guys. I'm out. <laughs> But, um, so like I got a lot of practice in and I've had a lot of tragedy in my life. So like it's something instead of embracing the trauma and like letting that affect me, I made it more empowering. So like I write stories about it and I make it in ways that people can relate to. So like, it's awesome. Um, my big inspirations are like Amy Winehouse, like my girl, um, Ella Fitzgerald is a big one for me. Um, uh, Jen Wigmore, she's a UK artist. Mm -hmm. Um, but those like kind of like grungy, very dark like and then a little bit like melodic on the top so Ella Fitzgerald on top there <laughs> so uh, do you agree or disagree with this because I've definitely heard this and may or may not have agreed with some people when they describe like your sound so I've definitely heard if you had to describe like Evie Z like how would you describe it I said like like a happier not as depressing local Adele like but like but like with what? better yeah, yeah so my I get that often but i I normally say, like, so this is my description, and people crack up about it. It's, it's like if Adele and Amy Winehouse had a baby, and that baby grew up and had, a, like, an affair with Pink. Like, that genre. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the imagery. You're All welcome. right. It's pi- Never mind. Continue. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... That's going to go down a very <laughs> dark path, and I just decided not to. Uh, but, no, that's actually... That's a really interesting, like, uh, way of putting that, because, like, I don't think I've ever heard, like, such a in-depth detail, like, description of, like, the sound. It's like, like if someone was like, oh, describe ethics, I'm like... Well... I get uh, mad sometimes, <laughs> and I just... Sometimes I want to scream about it, so I, I do. I just really want to just have the emotion out as, like, a sound effect. <laughs> exactly. I, I just, I'm, like, mad, so, rawr. I feel like there's a lot of screaming in Alan's life. <laughs> <laughs> my inner monologue no actually isn't my talking. It's just me and my <laughs> screaming voice. Did you ever see that video of the Grinch being, like, doing yoga and, like, screaming? Yes. And, like, sorry, <gasps> I'm a little messed up. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. That's me. <laughs> That's Alan. <laughs> That's just constantly oh what's going on in his head. <laughs> and, and then the, and mixed with the clip of Alex Jones. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that no, right no, now. We're not going to talk about that one right now. But. It's not going to So, uh, <laughs> but that's awesome though. So, I mean, got a lot of experience and obviously from Nashville. Like that's, I feel like that's like the one city like you have to go, like not have to go to, but like if you get the opportunity to go there and do the things you did, like you're going to get like just invaluable, like sure. priceless information and like uh, experience. Oh, 100%. And it's really hard to live there. Like, because there imagine. are the immense amount of musicians there. So, like, I actually went dark zone of, for any of my own music. Like, I didn't write anything of my own probably for a solid two and a half years. Wow. Yeah. So, like, nothing of my own. I was writing with other artists and just kind of like working and like embracing the Nashville life. But, like, I didn't start writing again until I moved back. So wow. like, and I like pick back up where I left off, but then I'm like, it was just like, wow, my music is like totally different. From when <laughs> I, 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 when did you I, move back? Um, August. August. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was like beginning of uh, August is when I moved back. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what, fairly recently. Yeah. But that, yeah. now like I have six songs in the work with the studio. Um, wow. Jason Schaefer from Full Tilt Productions. He's like. He, I don't, I don't have to say anything. He knows what I want, and like, it's perfect. That's so like, the best kind of chemistry you can ask 100%. for with a producer. Yeah, and especially when the, they have to be honest with you too. It's mm-hmm. like, like, uh, I'm not gonna do it. We plugged, <laughs> we plugged a producer two, two episodes in a row. I'm not gonna do it again. But the one producer I worked with, like, I love the fact that he would tell me, like, mm-hmm. yo, that take sucked. Like, you need to do that again. Like, he did not bullshit anything, and that's exactly what you need. I think and any producer worth their salt should definitely do for that. For sure. You know? And they have to be able to take criticism. Mm-hmm. But, like, the best part about it is, like, I don't really even have to say anything. I send him the song, and, like, he already has, like, 
three different versions. Like, before I even come in, he goes, okay, so, like, this is what I was vibing. And I'm, like, the first one, I'm, like, normally, I'm, like, I don't even care about the other two. Like, let's go with the first one because, like, I'm already feeling it. So, like, yeah, so we've got six songs in the works. I couldn't even dream about that. Like, I, like, I've been wanting to do that for so long. Mm -hmm. So now I'm finally, like, doing it. And now this month I'm going to be releasing this. The first song I have released in, like, four years the last song was Nightmare. Okay. Um, this song is going to be Goodbye. So, like, it's a really epic song of just, like... Letting shit go. Letting shit go. <laughs> so Not then... to quote Frozen, but she's <laughs> letting it go. And the next song that I'm going to be releasing is going to be with Dubby Got Bars. Um, and we're releasing that in March. And then I'm releasing another tribute song. And it's just, like, it's going to be continuous. Wow. And I'm super excited because it's been a long time coming. <laughs> just like a chain reaction of music going on. It needs to up. happen. That's awesome. It just takes one. <laughs> I just yeah. remember, I, and I'm going to get to you, we're going to get yeah, to you, John. Fine. But I just, I just really wanted to put something because I remember like vividly, we were at somebody's birthday party or whatever that, and like me and Dylan oh, yeah. showed up and you were like, yeah, like I started like singing and I started doing, sh or like you were like just starting, but like we heard your music. Like I listened to it and I remember being like, yo, like Evie, like, for real, like you're you're going to do shit. Like your voice is incredible. I was like, mark my words, because I, I remember like at that point in time, like I was like deep into the scene at that point, yeah. and I was like, I wasn't like being like cocky or anything, but I was like, no, like for real, like from one musician to another, like you've you've got what it is, like whatever it is, you have it, and like you're gonna do great. It's like it's well, to fucking let you awesome. Know, it's stuck with me. <laughs> like I'm still doing it. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome. And now you're on the podcast. <laughs> <I'm still laughs> on the podcast. Woo! <laughs> but, uh, so, John, we got Evie's background, so, like, where do you draw your inspiration from and everything? Oh, dude, that's a long, 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 long story, but basically... You, you have know, five seconds. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Sum it up real quick. I'm just kidding. So, um, to really just sit it just really simply, um, I first started writing... Don't sell yourself short either, like, if you need yeah, to go yeah, down no. a road, like, yeah, yeah, tell yeah. us. Yeah, no, no, you're good. I first started writing when I was, like, 12, um, because I grew up in a musically inclined family. My okay. My mom was actually in Broadway for years. What? Yeah. So my That's mom, impressive as hell. Yeah. Yeah, she was in bro uh, Broadway for years, and, wow. like, basically the way that worked with my family was that, like, it was either you were doing sports or you were doing music, and that's just it. That's, like, n unheard of. Yeah. Typically, families that do sports, and then the kid's like... I don't want to do music. They're like, <clears throat> no, no, <laughs> not in my family, not my child. You will not touch That's anything how... with strings in this house unless, <laughs> unless it is a lacrosse racket. No tassels. It's kind of how my childhood was a little bit. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it just kind of just happened that way for me. Um, and so it was just, just natural to just pick up a guitar. Or just sing. That's awesome. And That's awesome. um, and so me and my sister just grew up that way. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was kind of like a competition type of thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make it big before <laughs> you. <laughs> or it was like more so like our parents somewhat putting us against each other in a way, because it would just be like, oh, be more like your brother, or be more like your sister. And so that's we manipulative as hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a good way to keep them competitive, though. I mean, you're, you know? Hey, you know your brother? Um, he doesn't suck anymore. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. You could strive to be, you know, maybe that maybe, good. Maybe, maybe pick up that guitar for a couple more hours a day. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It only takes one hand to sand. What you could be doing something else with other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Only had a couple flat notes this time, but they were still there. <laughs> Just saying. We noticed. So, <laughs> so yeah, dude, it was uh, like it was never like a thing to where it was like. I'm in a solo project, or I'm in this band. It was just a lot of just experiments okay. between me and Jess. Um, and so we we took a break from music for a while. Um, and so me and uh, her actually started our own media production company called Spring Productions. Okay. And so basically from what am I thinking? 22 till now is when I've done Springwood. And okay. so in the middle of that is when Jess really encouraged me to do more of like my solo stuff. And I played with bands and stuff like that. And I've been like, oh, this is, this sucks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to do this. I, I know right, the feeling. I understand. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, this sucks. I'm like, sure, I had the dream of like being able to play my own stuff and things like that. But I was just like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, until my sister actually, and this is where me and Evie have that common denominator, is my sister really encouraged me because I showed her like these four songs and I was like, hey, 
what do you think of these? Because I think they suck. And she's like, dude, don't throw these away whatsoever. And so I just built it off from there and did a bunch of like coffee houses, did a bunch of open mics, um, and just built like just really just fan base through there. Um, and then I always just wanted a band. I, 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 I thought it was, no offense, I, I, th- I thought it was so dumb having a solo <laughs> project. And being so lame, just your name. But it's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is easier. It's so it much is easier. Hey, hey Evie, do you want to do this? Yeah, Evie, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> cool, thanks, Evie. Self high five. It's like from the outside source. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, she's schizophrenia. <laughs> she takes pills. Come there. No, don't take this. <laughs> don't, don't, don't interrupt her. This is when she writes her best material. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath, guys. I promise. Yeah, that wasn't Evie. That was Evie. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my alter ego. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. So that just like kind of just happened. Um, one of our uh, lead guitarists at the time just basically recommended a name to her. Be like, we were shopping around like names and and things like that. And he was like, "How about John Garcia and a Hopeless Romantics?" And I was like. Dude, fuck that. That's like sounds so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm John Garcia and the Hopeless Moon <laughs> uh, right, So Something I've always noticed is that every band I've ever listened to that has envy in the name always fucking slaps. Like, right. always love them. Like, uh, I mean, like, easy. Bob Marley and the Whalers. Um, now I'm forgetting all of them. Edward Sharp and Magnetics. Uh, Edward Sharp and Magnetic Zeros. Who's the other one? Oh my god. Margo and the Nuclear So and So's. Have any of you listened to them? I haven't. You haven't? Have you? No. Uh, no, I haven't. Margo and the Nuclear So and So's. <laughs> Fucking tell me I'm the only person that knows them. Are you serious? They're Bro, like, I listen like to like a mirror. And like, <laughs> you listen to everything, Alan. Okay, I know. All right, that. all right. I'm going to play them for you off air. And Remember, you're going to fall okay. in love. He only has screaming in his head. If you knew more on the nuclear so and so's, you wouldn't have just fucking screaming in your head, Alan. I, all right? I, I, st- I start the shower and I'm like, oh, it's too hot. <laughs> and like, turn it back. That's what's in my head. My like, skin is melting. <laughs> <laughs> too metal. Oh, my God. Not hot enough. It's not metal enough. <laughs> There's I never enough go. cowbell. <laughs> Third degree burns. That's fucking metal, bro. <laughs> it needs more cowbell. Wow. Cowbell. It's crazy. So did did Alan do Christopher Walken impressions when he was a kid? No. Because he does them as an adult. Yeah. They're really bad, too. <laughs> no, they're actually decent. I'll take I that. Mean. All right. I'll take the decent. It's, like, yeah. I'll take the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than other things, you know? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Well, that was great being <laughs> here. You guys have a great day. <laughs> I'm just going to slip out here. I'm going to slip out the back. All right, I'm going to head out. All right, so back to uh, back on top of this. So John Garcia and the Hopeless Romantics, when did you start this journey? Um, God, what has it been? It's been like four years now, four or five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been it's been four to five years. We've gone through our lineups. I mean, it's it's definitely been that. And it's a lot of been trial and error. Um, yeah. You know, you just kind of just figure out those things where it's like, hey, you want to release like a 16 track album. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, no, let's do a four track EP. And it's like, hey, that took a year. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is who I am now. And like, I just believe in the philosophy to where like, even if it's like the shittiest song ever, mm-hmm. just keep on writing. Yeah. Keep on hustling. You can always make it better. Right. Yeah, for sure. Right. Absolutely. Right, right, right. And I and I also didn't want to fall into like that aspect of like singer songwriter like and believe me this is my boy and like he gets <laughs> so much hate but like I loved John Mayer like growing up oh okay. for sure oh, yeah, okay dude. oh dude Neil yeah. does does anyone know his history of girlfriends because I feel you damn I feel you <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> Like Draw. Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> oh wait, Taylor really? Swift, oh yeah, oh right. yeah, uh, uh, well, uh, Jennifer Love Taylor Hewitt. Um, dude, oh I, my gosh, I just looked it up because I didn't believe it. Dude, he's like, getting he that probably ass, comes dude. back. Jesus, Katy <laughs> Perry, Kim, he yeah. dated Kim Kardashian. Yeah, <laughs> him and Ray J are Igloo brothers. Yo, you didn't know this? <laughs> Ask him my brothers. Ask him my brothers. <laughs> okay. Ask him my brothers. Same Very thing. close though. Yeah, same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna take this opportunity <laughs> on air and just say because we're talking about Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, if you ever watch this, I love you. Um, if I ever get the opportunity, I'm definitely going to marry you, and it's going to go one of two ways. Either one, we're going to get married, and it's going to be great. We're just going to be married, and I'm married to you, and it's sick. 
Um, I would if it break doesn't work out, her fucking heart. If it doesn't work <laughs> so out, that way I know she writes a song I, about me. Nope, I'm I not would getting die a song. happy. I would I, walk around with the biggest head on my shoulders, knowing like, yeah. that Taylor Swift. That those, was fucking me. Those are rookie right? thoughts. I stomp rookie. on her fucking heart. He's thinking rookie, long term. Here. Rookie <laughs> thoughts. I'm getting an album. <laughs> I'm going to destroy her, and I'm going to. I can get a pre- discography. Well, now she's not going to marry you because she knows it's just going to end in turmoil. <laughs> I don't want it to. I want to marry her. And then, love me, Taylor Swift. I'm just kidding. <laughs> love me. I'm being serious though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. That was a great ad. But, yeah, but seriously. <laughs> My phone number is right below. Anyway, <laughs> tweet me at Darker Puck. Yeah, dude. So I didn't want to fall into like that category of like singer songwriter or, or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And it was just like I really just wanted to like challenge my art. Um, and so for a couple of years, I just really just challenged that aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and really just um, I've had three lineup changes. One is the w- a worst lineup that I've just ever had. We were trying to be a metal band. Not dissing metal bands, but it just was not there. <laughs> it was not there. What? So I was like, wait, Greg, you made that whole eye contact we with all, you. Like, know, everybody, everybody, everybody has <laughs> those metal bands. At a metal band. I, 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 I have definitely life. tried and failed at metal bands. I... It's yep. okay, Alan. It's okay. <laughs> Hunter, do you remember? You're doing something off. It's okay. Never mind. He never mind. Ah, He's right. doing something yeah. more important. Um, so, wait. Uh, can I ask you, what, what element? <laughs> which ingredient did you guys not have for the metal band to succeed? Like, if you could pinpoint I'm going to say no ingredient. It was just it was just a mess. So, like, we have a pot. <laughs> Sick. And we're just going to throw stuff at it and see. Put it on high heat. Walk away. It was like literally every single member had, like, all their amps on 10, and it was all distorted, and it sounded like, like complete shit. That's that's the best way I can nice. put it. Or, <laughs> or it so sounds like how Green Day started. <laughs> right. In a See, garage. In my opinion, that's what Teen Spirit smells like. <laughs> wow. You just I, mush I it like together it. and hope it I works. Hate Nirvana, <laughs> little known fact about me. You hate them? Fucking hate them. See, I don't I'm jam sorry. them, but I respect them because they definitely yeah. they were they were a, a key pivotal transitional band. From like '80s hair metal to like '90s grunge. Like I probably sure. skip them through my shuffle, but they're on there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't stand. Like I, tr- I skip them. If they come on, I'm like, can you change this? I cannot. Like I've never. You gotta liked be in them. the mood for them, dude. I don't know. I can never get into them. I, I never, never found like, the mood. All right. I don't know what that mood is. <laughs> <laughs> They don't fit in my screaming mood. They don't. It just doesn't. I feel like Al- Alan only has like one category. Yeah, I don't. I, so, so he's right. I actually do listen to a lot of different music. Like mm. my newest like thing that I absolutely love is Hannah White Montana. Reaper. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hannah Montana's my shirt. <laughs> love that band. Best of both worlds. <laughs> Wait till he finds out about Miley Cyrus. Be <laughs> fucking blown away. <laughs> Why do they look so similar? <laughs> Oh my god. Did she just remove her wig? <laughs> Is my life a lie? <laughs> Where did this meat come from? Oh. oh Look at that. No. Alan just. You I'm know what? I can't do it. You just slipped yeah. it in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did. <laughs> awesome. I honestly forgot we were filming. For two <laughs> we went all out on this episode. We brought a meat tray. We did. Oh. They're really good. Oh, Peter! Like I hope you're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Murdered animals, Hunt- and they are the delicious. Carcass. Hunter's mm-hmm. girlfriend Murdered killed that with her hands. Yeah, Hunter. And also, my best friend Evelyn is a vegetarian, so like she's probably in the corner, like. Oh. She's like, thanks. She's like, this Evelyn, is appreciate I'm, it. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she's wiping her eyes right now. She's gross. Just she walking to get a piece. Uh, On a side note, yeah. she did come all the way from Nashville to be here for this weekend, so did like she? she's the bomb deck. Yeah, oh uh, shit! <laughs> Wait. Evelyn's in the corner. No, we, no, <laughs> wait, you're Evelyn. That's right. I We're forgot. both named Evelyn, but I go by Evie. So Evelyn, hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you forgot no, about her. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see her from right here. Like the computer's right there. I, she I did such a good job as like a like the guest of a guest. <laughs> she sat in a corner behind a light box. <laughs> And just in the darkness and hasn't said shit. And you shit. can't see her face. Like, she's got a cap on. I literally on, can't like, see anything just, of her. Yeah. Or she's uh, just made a voice God. All I see is Tim's. <laughs> so I'm just like, I know she means business and she's going to kick my ass. <laughs> she's a badass. All right. So back to the tour. Let's make sure we have all the details here. So <laughs> Go back to the tour, it yeah. starts tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Where can Which they buy is... tickets ahead of time if they want to? Yes. Good. Um, They can reach out to the bands. They do Venmo, any kind of 
like pay they just have to reach out to one of the bands they want to go see and then we can either hold the ticket at the door and they just say their name mm-hmm. we'll have an envelope ready to go or they can come pick them up i just yeah and okay. Evelyn, evelyn's gonna be handling all that <clears throat> so yeah. she's yeah, gonna be at the door so you... <laughs> that's right yes yeah it is yeah. um <laughs> it's been a long week i'm sorry I, yeah I, I, I lost yeah. all track um uh, no what i was gonna ask where can where can people find all your music um, it's all just JHR music. Okay. J-H-R yep. And then Evie Z, E V Y space Z E E. Um, Facebook, Instagram. Those are the best two contacts. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's the best two places to listen to your music? No, no, no. Um, you can listen to any any streaming platform. So Google Play, iTunes, and what Spotify. What was it again? I'm sorry. Evie Z, E V Y Z E E. And for us, we are actually going to be dropping our single, Kiss Kiss, who we shot with Springwood. Um, in the near summer. So, nice. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. That's exciting. That's really yeah. exciting. So, And run us through just real quick one more time so that your stops are – it starts tomorrow and you are playing in Maryland first? I'm sorry. Yes. And just real quick, just let's – No, you're good. You're good. You're good. So it will be in Menchie's, which will be in Abingdon, Maryland. Um, the second one will be in McCannsburg at Larson Mead Works, um, and that will be starting at 8. And then at 7.30, the next day will be Federal Tap House. Doors open at 6.30, though. So yeah. you can get there pretty early to get the tickets because we are selling quickly. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sick. All right. And also, what's the pineapple for? Yeah. What's the deal? So real quick, though. Is um, that like a fetish or something? <laughs> So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, um, Five o'clock. So let's say doors are at what time? Uh, Six thirty. Six thirty. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to get tickets, you should probably be there at like five o'clock. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. But then you can eat downstairs. It's a whole restaurant, like drinks and everything. So you can like help yourself. Beautiful. So you can eat. And I've and been there before. So drink prep. Have you guys seen Dead Play before? I mean, you're friends yeah, with yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was the first place they ever played. Did you? Did, I, mean, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, that was the, the. Am I correct, Russ? That those were where they did the first Dead show was at Tap House, right? Because I got real fucked up and jumped up on stage with them. That's probably how we you talked know about Liz. that last week. <laughs> <laughs> probably. She's probably ripped you down stage and threw you out. Wait, did she work there or something? Or yeah, she worked. At, she managed the shows there. Huh. Oh, yeah, she probably did. That, <laughs> I yeah. never knew Liz even got into like promotion. Yeah, she did all the ticket ticket marketing and everything. I don't know. She printed the ticket. She did all the posters. I've all like, of missed it. an entire chapter of her life. I'm actually amazed I've never met either of you two before because it seems like we all have a lot of mutual friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how we It's bound, bound that we'll meet each other eventually. Yeah. This is the moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, I guess I've always been in the music scene, but I haven't been in a band in a very long time. It's just something we've talked about a couple of times, but, huh. I have a now good question. Yeah. What, what does SpongeBob live in? <laughs> a house? Under the sea? That, 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 that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You ready, kids? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could resist. <laughs> who, who lives in a house under the sea? Yeah, that's yeah, that's how it goes. Pineapple? No, no it's, it's a, a house. house. Okay. <laughs> pineapple. It's a house. I, what is a that. pineapple? It's, it's that, so out of it. <laughs> I don't even hear like I don't even know how to say that word properly. Pineapple. Pineapple. I'm gonna stop now. Okay. All right, we are. <laughs> We're running out of time here today, but I really enjoyed this entire thing. Is there anything you guys wanted to bring up quick or talk about, plug yourselves or anything like that uh, before today's episode is over? Um, just uh, my song drops tomorrow. So if you. Uh, and what's that song called? Uh, Goodbye by Evie Z. So All right, see you guys. This was it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was it. <laughs> that was it. That's pretty much my ending. Were you Drop dropping it? Uh, everywhere. everywhere, iTunes, Google Play, everything that you stream on, and uh, we'll be releasing a just a video, just a simple video on YouTube and stuff too. So just to have it out there. That's cool. Okay, mm-hmm. perfect. And you? Um, so I would say during the summertime we're going to be dropping our music video along with our single, along with our EP uh, called Kiss Kiss, and then we have a couple surprises, uh, surprise singles that we're going to be dropping near of the end of summer. So. Okay, so you're well, just going to just put them out there, yeah. let people find yeah. out. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that right. kind of stuff. Right. I like that stuff a lot. I'm a fan. Well, um, if you guys want any more information on either of their bands, music projects, or any of the above, it will all be on our website, darkerwithdaniel.com. Um, 
shout out to our uh, sponsor, Rock Mill Industries in Mechanicsburg. You can go to them for any sort of music needs. Um, I mean, if you're a small business in the area, you could definitely go to them for screen printing and all sorts of different things. Oh, a if bunch you, of stuff. If you go to their website, uh, rockmillindustries.com, I believe that is it, rockmillindustries.com. Google Rock Mill Industries and you'll find it. And um, they'll have it listed all the different services they provide. And if you support them, it helps support us. And yep. as always, if you are looking for new ways to watch this, um, and it's, I'm sorry, Rock Mill Inc. Inc. Dot com is what it is. I just remembered. <laughs> and I'm yeah. just agreeing with you. <clears throat> oh. I'm letting you run the show right gotcha. now, bud. Oh. <laughs> it's your show. It's named after you. You guys are doing really great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so, so happy. Yeah, so support them. They support us. They sponsor <laughs> us. They help us give people like you a platform to come out and promote your stuff. Thank you guys well, so much. we really much. appreciate so, it. Yeah. Hey, no. Thank you so much. It's been more than a pleasure <laughs> having you guys here. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, see you next week.